actually, is the sublime method for reviving our Krishna consciousness. As living spiritual soul, we are all originally Krishna conscious entities, but due to our association with matter from time immemorial, our consciousness is now polluted by material atmosphere. In this polluted concept of life, we are all trying to exploit the resources of material nature, but actually we are becoming more and more entangled in our complexities. This illusion is called Maya, our hard struggle for existence, for winning over the stringent laws of material nature. This illusory struggle against material nature can at once be stopped by revival of our Krishna consciousness. Krishna consciousness is not an artificial imposition on the mind. This consciousness is the original energy of living entity. When we hear the transcendental vibration, this consciousness is revived and the process is recommended by authorities for this age. By practical experience also, we can perceive that by chanting this Mahamantra or the great chanting for deliverance, one can at once feel transcendental ecstasy from the spiritual state. When one is factually on the plane of spiritual understanding, surpassing the stages of sense, mind and intelligence, one is situated on transcendental plane. This chanting of Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, is directly enacted from the spiritual platform, surpassing all lower status of consciousness, namely sensual, mental and intellectual. There is no need of understanding the language of the mantra, nor there is any need of mental speculation, nor any intellectual adjustment for chanting this Mahamantra. It springs automatically from the spiritual platform, and as such, anyone can take part in this transcendental sound vibration without any previous qualification and dance in excess. We have seen it practically. Even a child can take part in the chanting, or even a dog can take part in it. The chanting should be heard from the lips of a pure devote of the Lord, so that immediate effect can be achieved. As far as possible, chanting from the lips of non devotee should be avoided as much as milk touched by the lips of a serpent causes poisonous effect. The word para is a form of aggression of the energy of the Lord. Both Krishna and Rama are form of addressing directly the Lord. And they mean the highest pleasure eternal. Para is the supreme pleasure potency of the Lord. This potency, when addressed as Hare, helps us in reaching the Supreme Law. The material energy called as Maya is also one of the multi-potencies of the Lord, as much as we are also marginal potency of the Lord. The living entities are described as superior energy than matter. When superior energy is in contact with inferior energy, it becomes an incompatible situation. But when the supreme marginal potency is in contact with spiritual potency, hara, it becomes the happy, normal condition of living in The three words, namely Hara, Krishna and Ram, are transcendental seeds of the Mahamantra and the chanting spiritual call for the Lord and his internal energy Hara for giving protection to the conscious and soul. The chanting is exactly like genuine cry by the child for Ma. Mother Hara helps in achieving the grace of the Supreme Father Hari or Krishna and the Lord reveals himself to such sincere devotee. No other means, therefore, of spiritual realization is as effective in this age 
as chanting the Mahamantra, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama 